Tonight, NBC5 investigates mixed together friends, a large bus, and loud music. The party bus craze is sweeping Chicago, but what happens when the night turns sour? NBC5 investigates Chris Coffey explains how one woman says her group was taken for a ride and left behind. Christy Vasquez planned a rock star ride with friends across Chicago for her birthday. One of my friends had done a party bus and it was a really good time. This is YouTube video showing an XTC Chicago party bus, the company Vasquez hired. But she says last month's experience was botched from the get go with the driver. Oh, I went to pay him the 400 and he said, no, you owe me 540. And I said, no, the contract was for a 400 remainder balance. She showed us the contract and says the company did help smooth things out. And these photos show Vasquez and her friends on board having some fun. But she says their planned photo op at the Bean was too rushed. He took us to a stop that wasn't the stop we were supposed to be at. Then Vasquez and her husband Jesus say the driver drove the group to this Rosemont bar too soon. Because he was rushing us out. He was like, don't worry. When it was time for pickup, a few hours later, the driver never answered his phone. Called, text, called, text, left multiple messages and no response at all. The couple and their 21 friends who rode the bus were stranded. It was supposed to be a fun night for me and it wound up being a very aggravating night where I'm having to find, you know, rides home for 22 other people. XTC Chicago Party Bus tells us a different story. They say the birthday group had been drinking heavily to start the night, threatened the driver, and demanded multiple stops. Vasquez denies all of that. And while the company advertises top notch service on its website, XTC Chicago Party Bus has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. We're just reporting what their consumers tell us. The company declined our request for an on camera interview, but we spoke to one of their competitors. This is one of our party buses. Each one of the party buses has a different theme. Gabriel Stonis is co owner of Elite Chicago Lemo. <laughs> Music blasting, lights flashing, you see how a party bus gets its name. And these are really getting popular these days. Oh, absolutely. They, they, people love them. You know, it's, it's comfortable. It's a, it's a nice way of just driving around Chicago, having a good time. Stonis gave us a couple pointers if you're planning a wedding, prom, or night out on a party bus. He says you'll probably be required to sign a contract, expect to pay a deposit up front, and he says it's important to stay in contact with the company. That way, there are no surprises. This is about having fun. It's not about things that going wrong. As for Vasquez, she wants her money back as well as the items her friends left on board. She filed complaints against XTC Chicago Party Bus with the Better Business Bureau, the Attorney General, and the City of Chicago. I mean, it was a decent amount of money that we paid into this to not even really enjoy it. The Better Business Bureau urges consumers to check out a company's record before signing a contract or making a payment. They say it's best to pay by credit card so you can dispute any charges. We've also put up some helpful links on our website, NBCChicago.com. Chris Coffey, NBC5 Investigates.